It's estimated that there's currently about 7 million open jobs across the U.S. today and 6 million unemployed Americans, but we aren't connecting those two. And maybe it's because we aren't thinking in new ways about recruiting our talent. Maybe it's because we don't have the types of programs like apprenticeship that can teach the skills that we need. And at the macro level, investment in these types of programs makes sense. If you're not filling these jobs, there are estimates out there that there's $162 billion in revenue that's being missed out on every year across the tech industry with these jobs that are remaining open. There's over 500,000 open jobs in the IT industry every single day, and there's simply not enough students graduating with traditional degrees. New Collar Jobs to us has been about bringing in candidates that have all sorts of backgrounds and skills, but don't necessarily have that degree. So programs like apprenticeship are a great way to keep skills fresh, and to bring in new talent that can build with using the tools that we're in need of. Candidates coming from community colleges, from boot camps. We have former firefighters, teachers, nurses. We have a novelist. We have a dairy farmer. They're bringing life experiences from their previous jobs, but they're also bringing different levels of industry knowledge and putting them into roles like software engineers, cybersecurity analysts, and project managers. There's a lot of discussion about skills today and how they're expiring. There's a phrase out there, the half-life of skills is about five or six years because the technology industry is changing so quickly these days that academia just can't keep up. Like blockchain and AI, those aren't necessarily skills that students are learning in school because they're so new. And so bringing candidates into a company, teaching them the skills that you need is the quickest way to fill the skills gap that you have in your workforce. Apprenticeship has financial benefits for both an apprentice and an employer. For an apprentice, it's earn while you learn. You're not paying to go to school. The company that is sponsoring you through the apprenticeship is paying for you to learn and paying you a salary while you're doing it. And from the company perspective, it's a great investment because you're building a long-term employee. There's a lot of data that supports improved employee retention and employee growth when you invest in apprenticeship and so it's a great opportunity for you to build that longer term talent pipeline. When I think 20 years into the future, I'd love for Americans to really consider apprenticeship as an alternative post-secondary path. Apprenticeship in the U.S. has very historically been linked to trades and blue collar types of roles. And so growing the program really requires a shift in mindset. This is not something that we as Americans traditionally think of as a career path into technology, but we do need people to think about those alternative career paths so that we can continue to build a pipeline of new apprentices.